Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to advanced group by operation. Okay, and the concept what I am going to discuss is with respect to Snowflake, but the same concept you can map to some other SQL languages, not at all a problem, right? Just little bit syntax might be changed, but the concept will be same. Okay. So let's try to understand with one example. So here I have written some SQL queries which I am going to share in the description box or in the comment section as well so that simultaneously you can practice in your account, right? So first what I am doing, I am using a database RAM, okay, right? So a statement executed successfully, whatever database you are having, you can put that name here, okay? And then here we are creating a table related to sales which contain product ID, retail price, quantity, city name and the state name simple right and then we are inserting some dummy data in it okay right and then if we do select star from sales here you will be seeing the sales related information which is present in this particular sales table right now just think from a business standpoint for group by operation that is like you might be interested to know that total number of quantity based on city okay or based on state okay or maybe based on both city and state so this kind of aggregate result you want to get for your inspection okay or further business improvement okay right so just if you apply simple group by select city then sum of quantity from sales group by city if you do this one what will be happening total quantity for different products for a particular city it will be listing as a sum value okay so if i execute this particular one here you can see city sf is having this much uh, quantity different products order is there okay for sj this is the one for miami this is the one and for orlando this is the one okay suppose you want to get the quantity total based on state you can apply simple this kind of group by operation right cool now suppose you want to get the sum of quantity based on city as well as based on state okay so then what you can do suppose you want to get both together then in the group by clause you mention both of them so what will happen city and state all the distinct possible combinations it will be taking and for that distinct combination what is the sum value it will be taking and returning you as a result set right so if i execute that here you can see because if you check our input data so sf here it is present right as well as sj sf and sj are in state ca only right and here also sj is there so here grouping is happening based on that so if you see here sf and here also sf is there with the same state name so here this is quantity 4 and here the, there is one quantity so total 5 quantity so if you see in city sf state ca total quantity is 5 so like that it is giving you the group by result right now suppose you want to get total quantity group by on city as well as total quantity group by on state but in same result set okay that time if you want to get that kind of stuff you have to do union all but as you know in union all the number of columns should be same and the column ordering should be also same to make it justifiable proper vertical stacking right so that is what we are doing select city then null as state we are taking null as state because in this particular upper query there is no state information right so we are taking null value and then some quantity from sales group by city and then we are doing union all and then generally when we are doing group by on state then only we can execute select state comma some quantity from sales group by state but because we want to do union all that's why we are taking null as city at the first element okay so if I run this particular one, this particular data, what it is giving? It is giving us sum of quantity based on city as well as sum of quantity based on state. So here you can see SF, ST, Miami, Orlando. Okay. For them states are null, but we are getting sum of quantity based on individual city. Similarly, for last two elements, for last two rows, here you can see state information is there, but city information is null because group by happened based on state and we are getting state wise total quantity order right now these two queries you can combine in a single query and that is called grouping set okay 
so this is first important advanced group by operation which i wanted to discuss that is you can use grouping sets and then you can pass on what columns you want the aggregation result so when you are mentioning select city comma state both we are mentioning as well as some quantity from sales group by grouping set city and comma state what will happen first it will be doing group by on city then it will be doing group by on state it will be merging them in a proper way and it will be returning so this particular query grouping set and this particular query are same only and you can easily remember this as well just in the group by after that you have to mention grouping sets clause okay and then based on whatever different columns you want aggregation result you can mention that and if i run this particular one now see you are getting same result first we are getting group by on city and they are some quantity similarly we are getting group by on states and they are some quantity right so this is one of the important group by clause right now let's see the next one next one is roll up okay same syntax only difference is here we are using grouping sets here we will be using roll up okay city state because both we are using in group by so same thing we will be putting that here as well and then some quantity okay so let's see the result set and let's try to understand how roll up works okay and roll up is a very popular interview question so try to understand how the result works first what it is doing for the from the first records you can understand it is doing group by based on city as well as state okay that is the first four result is nothing but what it is kind of select city comma state comma some quantity from sales group by state comma city if you apply that kind of query you will be getting first four rows okay then observe the next two rows the next two rows basically contain only the state level aggregation result based on quantity sum okay and the last one last row is both null city also null state also null so the last row is giving basically total sum okay overall table right so in simple words i can say roll up when you are mentioning based on state comma city how it is working so if you are mentioning state comma city first it is doing group by based on this particular clause that is group by state comma city okay that's why we are getting first four rows okay then it is doing only group by based on state and it is doing union all with earlier result that's why we are getting row number 5 and row number 6 and then it is doing group by on none okay that is the on the complete table it is doing a total sum and it is giving the last result okay so i hope from this particular one you can understand the flow of group by first do based on all the mentioned column then at the next stage ignore the one column from the right hand side okay so if you see this particular clause here state comma city is there right so first group by is happening based on both state and city and then in the next step it is ignoring the rightmost one that is city it is ignoring and then it is doing group by only on state and then it is ignoring state also it is doing just group by on overall level okay so always remember from right to left it will be moving at each stage it will be basically excluding the rightmost one and it will be doing group by on rest and it will be doing union all and it will be returning us okay sometimes this kind of information might be very helpful so this is kind of concept of roll up right so first in a particular state city wise how much total quantity is there then state wise how much total quantity is there okay then country wise that is overall whole table based independent of state or city on a overall level what is the total aggregation result so this kind of queries are very helpful for different business intelligence purpose for data visualization okay so business can understand what is city and state level then what is state level and then what is overall complete stuff they are getting in one single table right so this is very helpful from business standpoint right so just suppose you are mentioning in the roll up clause you are mentioning a comma b comma c how it will be doing group by just simple right as i have told you first it will be doing on all possible combinations first step group by then in the next step group by it will be ignoring the last column which is c and it will be doing group by on a comma b a comma b distinct combination it will be try to aggregate and then it will exclude the rightmost one again and only on a it will be doing and then it will be doing on overall okay so if you are mentioning a comma b comma c in the roll up group by class it will be executing like this 
and all this for all this group by result it will be aggregating and returning you the set okay right and the last one is basically q so what is q it is kind of roll up only that is select city comma state comma some quantity from sales group by q state comma city same syntax instead of roll up just we have place q what q will do q will try to apply all possible combination okay and then the result set it will be doing union all and it will be returning us so as i am mentioning state comma city what will happen first it will be doing group by on state comma city both then it will be doing group by on city it will be doing group by on state and the, then it will be doing on overall so all possible combination it is taking earlier in roll up the city group by it was ignoring but in cube all possible combinations it will be taking right so if i just show you the result select city comma state some quantity here you can see first step the first four rows are nothing but group by result based on city as well as state right then the next two rows 5 and 6 this is only group by based on state okay right then the seventh row both null that means this is for overall table level aggregation right and if you see the last four rows last four rows are only city level aggregation okay so see only city level aggregation only state level aggregation city and state both level aggregation as well as overall table level aggregation all these informations we are getting in the queue so cube basically takes all possible combination but in roll up it will be each time excluding one element from the right hand side right so if you can easily understand suppose i am taking a comma b comma c in the cube class what will happen so first it will be doing group by on a comma b comma c distinct combination then it will be doing a comma b b comma c a comma c okay so all possible combination it is taking then only a only b only c also it will be taking and rest on the overall table level okay so in roll up it was basically kind of lesser set we are having to apply group by and do union all but in cube it is more because here we are taking all possible combination right and b comma a if you just apply group by on b column with a column and you are applying a column comma b column both are same result right so i have excluded b comma a combination so you are understanding right that is if you swap in group by it will not matter in the outcome so these are possible combinations for which q will do aggregation and will return us the result right so these are some very important operations with respect to advanced group by clause just remember this after group by you can mention grouping set or roll up or cube and then mention one or more than one column names if you are using grouping sets what will happen it will be like here city and state we have mentioned so it will be doing group by on city it will be doing group by on state and then it will be returning the union all result in proper format suppose you are using roll up then what will happen it will be doing group by on city and state both and then at the next step it will be excluding one column from the right hand side so city will be excluded and it will be doing group by on state and then even state will also be excluded overall table level it will be doing aggregation and it will be returning in case of cube it will try for all possible combination okay that is state as well as city based on both of them group by will be happening based on only state group by will be happening based on only city group by will be happening and also on overall table level also group by will be happening and all this group by as a union result it will be returning to you right i hope you have understood this just try to execute these queries you will be getting more clear idea so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you